Libra, greetings and salutations. This is your April 2018 reading. I already shuffled, cut the deck. We're going to get right into it. I didn't peek at the bottom this time. Oh, three of cups or the top, but so. Oh, we have six of pentacles again. That guy keeps showing up with the three of cups. Okay, six of pentacles, three of cups. Um, getting a couple things already. Oh, shice. The whole deck just wanted to slip out of my hand. Yeah, someone maybe wants to slip out on someone because they're not feeling the reciprocation. Or it could be, okay, attracting your vibe tribe, the ones that are aligned with this balanced harmon harmonic flow of giving and receiving. So let's see. Six of Pentacles and Three of Cups to start it off. So let's see what comes out in the cards for you, Libra. Always measuring the weight of the matter through the heart. This is how we can gauge it accurately. So, Libra, April 2018. What energies do we have? It's like the whole deck wanted to slip out and <clears throat> now nothing wants to come out. So, hmm. I'm feeling some ambivalence with this new energy that's coming in. It's like wanting to hold on to the old, but wanting the new to come in, but you can't have it both ways. So this is innocent love, peace, truce, harmony. This is that pure love that's coming in. Ooh, two of rods on the bottom. Libra, some twin flame path energy. Oh, there's that three of cups again. I don't like to talk about karmics and stuff like that, but I'm just saying it could be a twin flame situation where one's the, the true love, the true match, the divine match, divine compliment. Okay, two of rods. But there's some soulmate action, karmic soulmate action happening, perhaps. Okay. Let's angle that down a little bit so you can see the cards better. <clears throat> Page of Cups, Libra. Yeah, you just want that good heart love. Okay, but well, let's see what that was. Okay, so we ended up with the moon on the bottom. Nine of Swords on top, the moon, the womb, the one, that one true love. The world card, see that circle? The one who completes you, all elements, everything in place, all systems ago, everything matches, okay. For some of you Libras, it could be this... If it's not you and your en energy, it could be a younger, either your age or younger, water sign. Um, that you feel really completes you. Because um, with the moon and the nine of swords, it's like the moon, the one... And when I opened up, I <laughs> went right to Ace of Swords, and the next one I saw was Ace of Rods. Okay, so what came out here? Two of Swords, King of Cups, Five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and Hangman. Okay, and shit, these are your cards, because here's that fucking Three of Cups again. I don't mean to curse, <laughs> I mean, but I don't not mean to curse. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Devil card on the top. Okay. 
the flesh, the desires, the lusts of the flesh, the desires, the demands of the flesh. 3D matrix. Okay. We want to hold on to it. I don't know why, because we don't trust in God that, that Divine Mother, Father, God has something better for us. The true love, okay? But we have to surrender what that looks like. So, okay. Three of Cups, Devil card. All I'm saying is <clears throat> Gemini was kind of dealing with this energy too. And so here, let, let's just show the cards here. Two of Swords. Okay, this ambivalence, having to make this decision and... You know, having f one foot in the 3D, one in the 5D, two, you know, one foot in each world, okay, world card. So it's like one foot in each world. You want the love, but it's like you want the lust too. You can't have both. You can't have it both ways. Or the person who is bringing in this love, that, okay, the op that completes you, okay, this, this perfect love. Okay, that's what the Page of Cups is, harmony, truce. Just peace, okay? Easy, easy love. That's not, that's just soothing and nice and of the earth, okay? Um, that watery, feminine, pure. King of Cups. So two of swords and then King of Cups. Five of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Hangman. So you need to decide what you need to walk away from and trust. If you go deep within, you will find that you have all the tools and skills you need to need to make a decision, to walk away, to detach emotionally, to mentally um, pierce through all of this, okay, and see the truth. So this hangman, this is Major Arcana, uh, coming and saying, downtime, down doggy, down doggy, downtime for you. Get in tune with your golden toolbox where you have every coping skill you've ever had. You've never lost it. You've always had it. Okay. Time for you to remember by going deep within. You gotta, you gotta surrender to the downtime. You, you gotta submit, <laughs> submit to God so you can tap into the God within you. And all the stuff God put in you. So that you can make this decision a hard decision. It's not easy. Two of Swords is a tough one. Okay. To walk away from. You know being this. I'm kind of getting like this King of Cups. You know. We want romance. We want the. And then what? It's just constantly disappointing. Okay. Because we have to put God first. And then self. And then we get this love the complete whole love the textured love you get through all the ups and downs together and co-create that third energy and write that story and let that bloom and blossom so it's like you gotta decide you know another person and that love and it keeps leading to disappointment or are you going to put yourself first which one is it i mean i this isn't easy either okay but i like the look of the hangman and the eight of pentacles getting to work slowing down and really getting into your spiritual work Tapping into self, okay, doing all your memory work. <laughs> that looks a lot better than constantly going back to something that you think's so wonderful. Oh, the King of Cups, but it's up Five of Cups. Every time the King of Cups, boom, the Five of Cups. So you've gone through this cycle enough times to where now it's like, Here's an opportunity to finally detach from all that and let go and surrender to God and know that you have everything you need to get to where you need to go. All the tools, decision-making skills, all of it. Mental, the mental agility, being able to emotionally detach and 
not be so distracted by the world and everything going on. Lots going on in the world that can distract you from the path. And I just got, we got to hit our mark, okay? Each one, we got to master each element. This is mastering self. We got to hit our mark, circle, complete, boom. You have to do that with God. Each and every one of us has to put God first, then self. We do this path thing, and then we see it manifest in the physical. It's spiritual first, bringing spirit into form. So you have to do the spiritual work first, then the 3D work. <laughs> There's always work. Hey, guess what? There's never a break from the work. <laughs> but there is rewards, okay? So you, I would say take advantage of this downtime and realize your magnificence a little bit, okay, Libra? It's going to help you balance out, which is what you want, what you need. Um, just going to do a random open to this in the deck somewhere in the center here, okay? Boom. What did I just say? That's all you want is to balance out. But this is mastering your energies, okay? It's, it's not always going to be stable. One side's going to be pulling you, trying to distract you. You're going to have to know how to, you know, gauge everything. Your own energies, the everything that's happening around you, okay? Um... Eight of rods behind it, four of rods in front of it. So it's it's leading you back to the heart, to the home, the earth, your heart, your true core self. Okay, that's how you're going to master your energies. And that's the quickening. When you do that, now things are swift. Manifestations are swift. Cutting, Being able to cut things out of your life that are toxic is swift. Boom, boom, boom. Swift. You have, you have a down day, boom, you turn it into a down minute. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the quickening. So, okay, Libra. I hope that helped. Bless you. I love you all. Thank you for joining me. Okay, it was a pleasure and an honor. My left ear just totally went high pitch ring. So, um, whatever that means. What time is it? 151. One. Is that a 5? Okay, so that's a mere time. 151, one, which is 66. Now that's the perfect balance of giving and receiving. You're giving and receiving. Self, God. You line up with someone else. Giving and receiving. Self, God. Okay? Then you get your partner. Then you have that final click completion. Because we're meant to have a partner down here. We're not meant to <laughs> not procreate and have a partner. Okay? It's about having a partner though. Not some romantic gigolo or whatever the flood oh there's a okay this is the thing that's happening with you libra okay very interesting how my left ear just did that right before i <laughs> so yeah 66 151 okay now i'm gonna have to go gematria that all right love peace and blessings